Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be teaching you what a Variac Transformer is and how to use it. So, let's get started. Okay, so now how an auto transformer works. So let's start with this theoretical example of a transformer. So if you apply an AC voltage to this tap and to this end of the coil and apply 100 volts AC to them, then what will happen is you can get varying voltages off this lead and this lead. So for instance, this to the one lead of your multimeter, so this is going to a multimeter, and then you can test the other leads and you'll get varying voltages depending on the coil ratios between the wires. So let's say there's 80 turns, that's just a random number, between each tap. If I were to attach um, my other voltmeter probe to this coil right here, this would be roughly half of the input AC voltage, which would be, which would be 50 volts. So I'll get 50 volts off this pin if these two pins had 100 volts on them. And so this works as an auto transformer. So depending on the coil ratios between the two input voltages, you can get a different output voltage. Now another cool thing about auto transformers is you can also step up the voltage. Then we can get approximately 150 volts off this pin because this coil ratio is half of this coil ratio. So it would increase the the amount put out of this transformer by 50% to 150 volts. Now, the cool thing about auto transformers is by changing these numbers, you can get different voltages. So let's say I moved this 80 up to 160 turns. Now, because there's 160 turns between this lead and this lead, and 160 turns between this lead and this lead, it will double the voltage. So that'll be, instead of 150 volts, 200 volts, which is double of the input voltage. And so you can change all these numbers around to get different amounts of voltage. So let's say I stepped this number down to 70, and this number up to 90 volts. That would change this number to whatever ratio is in between the coils. So in this case, it would be approximately 40 volts. So by changing where the tap is on this coil, you can change the output voltage. Same with this right here. Now this is used in many different things because it is a very useful way of converting AC voltage. And it also helps because with normal transformers that have the coil on this side, they can't handle as much amperage as this coil. So by using this auto transformer setup, you can have more voltage and amperage flowing through your auto transformer, so you can get more power. There is one problem with this auto transformer design. Safety. Now, when you have a normal power transformer, and you have the output coil here, the output is isolated from the input, which means that if I touch this wire right here, I won't get shocked, unless I'm also touching this wire. But that's not the case with this. Because I'm referenced to ground normally, and I touch this and this is a live wire, assuming this is neutral, then what will happen is I will get shocked. One example of an auto transformer is this Variac transformer right here. And so what happens is it's the exact same principle as my auto transformer diagram that I drew, except that you can rotate where the tap is on the wire by rotating this knob. So by changing this knob to different numbers, I'm changing the tap that it's on. So on zero, the tap is closest to the zero voltage pin on the wire, which means there's zero volts flowing out of this Variac transformer. But as I spin it up, then it changes where the tap is on the giant coil inside here. Because inside here is a, gi a giant ferrite ring core with a coil of wire wrapped around it. So as I move this, it changes the carbon brush position on the coil.
the light gets brighter. And auto transformers don't always have to be very X. They can be anything from as small as this little transformer to the size of this transformer, which comes from a street light. This transformer and this transformer are both auto transformers. In my next video, I will be showing you why this little transformer is probably the most useful and coolest transformer that I have. So, thank you for watching and please subscribe.